Congenital vascular abnormalities such as lymphatic and venous malformations and overgrowth syndromes often have one thing in common, a defect in the PIK3CA gene. Our body consists of a huge number of cells. A small but essential part of these cells is the PIK3CA gene, which regulates cell growth. Some people may have a defect in their PIK3CA gene, causing it to work too hard. In that case, it will transmit too many signals to the cell's engine, also known as the mTOR. This gene mutation is not hereditary and occurs locally while the embryo develops, resulting in a local abnormality. The earlier the defect occurs, the more serious the abnormality will be. This means that every patient is unique. Until a few years ago, the diagnosis was performed with the naked eye and treatment methods consisted of embolization, in other words, injecting with a fluid, and surgery. Today, diagnosis and treatment are carried out in an expertise center. Here, they also have the possibility to perform a biopsy in order to detect a gene mutation to be confirmed. The rapid developments being made in the field of genetics lead to increasing possibilities for treatment. For example, we now know that the drug BYL719 inhibits the development of PIK3CA and that rapamycin slows down the engine mTOR. This can result in pain relief and a slowing down in growth. Keep up to date with new developments.